So today is March 24th. I'm going to be going to my dad's hometown in Ghana. It's a place called Kwo. It's in the eastern region. I've been a good amount of times. I think I've been to Kwo like maybe five to six times. Whenever we go, it's usually not for us taking a trip. It's usually for some type of motive. My dad has been busy and I've been busy. We've not had much time to spend with each other. So I think this is going to be like the perfect father-daughter road trip. This month and next month is actually going to be really, really great. We're going to Kwo this trip and we're supposed to be going to Kumasi and the northern region parts of Ghana. I think there's gonna be a lot of like road trip, father-daughter road trip content coming, so that's gonna be great. So you guys should subscribe if you haven't already. Kowu is gonna be about a two, three hour drive. I think that's what my dad said. So that's what we're gonna do. And my dad's waiting for me downstairs, so I'm gonna head down real quick and meet up with him. And we're gonna start this trip. If you guys haven't subscribed already, subscribe so we can go on more adventures together. It's kinky. Kinky? Yeah, but it's sweet. It has sugar in it. So you eat it without anything? Yeah. If I eat it with granola, if I eat it like that. What's it called? Uh, we call it uh, hot kinky. Uh, it's called hot kinky. Uh, <laughs> Guys, we just found Osino, this. Osino graphic. Huh? Osino newspaper. Osino newspaper. Yeah. That's the name of this. Yeah, because every morning they eat it here, so it's like a newspaper. You no know, newspaper, the first thing every morning. Yeah. You, you, you read. Yeah. To know whether they are coming to arrest you or not. <laughs> so we just got this um, Kenke local street food. I'm going to try to open it up. How do you open this? Alright. What's this thing that they've used to wrap it? I smell kinky. Kinky is it's made from maize, right? Kinky is made from maize and it's kind of like sour a little bit in flavor. Usually people eat it with like fish and pepper or like stew or things like that. But this already have sugar in it. So it's sweet? Yeah. Whoa! I wasn't expecting it to look like this. We've been on the road for about one or two hours and we have about two more hours left. Because of the way the roads are and the car that we're driving, it's taking us a longer than we expected to get there. We'll probably end up getting there around like 4 p.m. I don't know what we'll do there today. We're just enjoying each other's company, just talking. I remember that whenever we go to Kou, like when we're climbing the mountain, it's so scary. Oh, don't you think it's scary? Yeah, to me it's okay, but it's scary to other. Yeah. Um, we're going to go and check out some farms and local things we can do around Kuhu tomorrow so that should be fun but yeah mm. there is a cow crossing the street <laughs> guys so now we're in Kuhu and I don't know we're if you can see Kuhu. we're entering Kuhu and that mountain that you see all the way over oh, there Mount Audrey Anoma Audrey Anoma Audrey Anoma. Yeah. Anoma mountain is the mountain we're going to be climbing right now what does Oje Anoma mean? <laughs> Why don't you know? We are coming to eat here. Oh, we are coming to eat? Yeah. Thank you. 
Yeah, we should get a beat. What do they call this place? Abu Soka. Why do they call it? Because they sell every animal's meat here. So spare parts. You know Abu Soka is a spare parts. <laughs> so, so it's like they're selling spare parts they're of selling animals. Spare parts of animals. So around the head. Guys, where has he brought me to? Talk to me, love it, love it, love it, one. Won't you stay with me? Papa, how much did this cost? This is 10 CDs. 10 CDs? The Fufu is 10 CDs, this is 20 to 30 CDs. 30 CDs. Do you think there's a difference in buying choppa like food and fufu at a restaurant? Big difference. The choppa is better, right? Choppa is better. <laughs> <laughs> Soft. Oh, the last time we went up the mountain, the rain was so bad we had to pack. So, guys, they put these leaves inside the buckets to wash your hands apparently my dad says it's like lemon leaf or some leaf comment down below if you know what leaf it is but it's supposed to take the scent off of your hands okay, thank you. like the weather over here because we're right near where the mountains are it's really bipolar and it like heavy it rains heavy like this for like a couple minutes and then it goes away Kumasi Road used to be here, but because of the traffic that this place creates, mm. that's why they moved the road from here. Like, I didn't know there was a busy town like this near. Cool. Papa, will you be happy if I. Will you be happy if I, like, get a lot of success through doing YouTube? Of course. Really? Yeah. Why? Because you put in more effort. What's your definition of success? being able to make it in life. What's making it in life? Be able to take care of you yourself, your wife and your kid. Mm. That's what we call success. Not plenty money. Do you think you're successful? Yes. Really? The tuk tuk. Yeah. How do you call it? Tuk tuk. Tuk tuk. Tuk tuk. Tuk tuk. Guys, this mountain is so beautiful. The face of the mountain, the side of it, you can really see like the layers of the rocks building on it. Oh. Guys, we just got to the hotel we're going to be staying in Kowu. It's supposed to be the biggest hotel in all of Ghana. As I heard it has 4,000 different rooms and it looks really pretty but I'm so surprised to see like something this established all the way here. It's, it's really interesting. What? Guys, I'm so confused. Are we in Kowu? It looks like they're even building more rooms on this side. Wow. Whoa. 
guys, that's all part of the hotel. I'm curious to see what the hotel rooms are going to look like. Because outside looks really beautiful. The pool area, everything seems really good. Woo! Let me close the door. We just got in, we're about to settle in and all the adventures are gonna begin tomorrow. I'm just gonna quickly unpack my things and start doing some research to see what I can do. I'm now gonna start exploring to see what this hotel looks like and what our room looks like, but I'm about to unpack a shower change and start planning tomorrow. We're only gonna spend a full day here, so we need to do a lot tomorrow. I'm gonna quickly search up some things to do in Kuo and we're probably gonna end up leaving Friday, but let's check out the hotel room. I'm not going to do a full comprehensive tour of this room right now, but I just wanted to say I love how high the ceilings are here. And also, it's the room is like very minimal, but it has everything you need and it's very chic. Right outside, you have like this little vanity area where you can get ready. There's a closet space here with a safe. You can put your suitcase and stuff like that. And right over here, we have bathrobes. So that's cool. We have bathrobes and something I'm really excited about that I'm gonna make after I come out of the shower is coffee. So we're gonna do that. Um, there's like a little desk area here under the table where you can do work. Probably gonna edit a video here and do some planning here tonight. Okay, after like my third attempt, I've come to accept that this is what my bun is going to look like. I'm gonna be doing some research right now really quickly to see what I can find to do in Quo. So, I found some things that I can do in Kuo. The tricky part about traveling in Ghana is a lot of the cool spots that you find outside of Accra won't be found on the internet. But I have found some things that I can do. It says Kuo features the highest inhabited spot in Ghana. Basically, they're talking about the scenery and how a lot of what you can see here has to do with like rocks and like seeing landscape. And speaking of rocks and landscape, it seems like this rock called Bruku, Bruku, I don't know if it's the correct pronunciation, is the main biggest rock that you can see here.